Welcome to Sara's class. Today we are starting AU session of online class. Today we can start with the 10th physics chapter electricity. So we can go to the topic. So we know that there are two types of charges are there. Positive charges and negative charges. Positive charge and negative charge. This positive charge is known as proton. And this negative charge is known as electron. This negative charge is known as electron. And this negative charge electrons is responsible for the production of electricity. Next, we have to study some circuit symbols. So first one is cell. So first one is a cell. So this is the positive terminal of the cell and this is a negative terminal of the cell. We have to study the battery. This is the battery. So battery means if two or more cells are connected together, it forms a battery. If two or more cells are connected together, it forms a battery. Next, we have to study the circuit symbol for the bulb. This is the circuit symbol for the bulb. Next, we have to see the circuit symbol for the switch open. Switch open means the circuit is not complete and current cannot pass through the circuit. Next, we have to see the circuit symbol for switch closed. This is a circuit symbol for switch closed. Switch closed means what? the circuit is complete and the current can pass through the circuit. So these are the symbols related to electric circuit. Next we have to draw an electric circuit. This is a circuit. So here you can see the bulb. This is the battery and this is the switch. Here we can see that the switch is not closed. The switch is not closed. So we can see that the circuit is not complete and the current cannot pass through the circuit. Next we have to close the switch. Next we close the switch. So when we close the switch, what will happen? The circuit is complete and the current is flowing through the circuit. When we close the switch, what happened? The current is flowing through the circuit. As a result, the bulb will glow. As a result, the bulb will glow. Next, we have to see how the current is flowing in the circuit. So we can see here, negative charges is this. This is the positive terminal of the battery. So here, when we close the switch, the negative charges will move. The electrons will move from this uh, negative terminal to the positive terminal. Here, when we close the switch, the electron will start to move from this negative terminal to the positive terminal. This is the direction of flow of electrons. Next, we have to see the direction of the current. So, before so here, suppose the electrons are moving in this direction. Suppose these electrons are moving in this direction. The direction of the current will be in the opposite direction. So here, this is the direction of the current. This is the direction of the current. Direction of the current will be always to the opposite direction of flow of electrons. Here, the electrons are flowing in this direction. And the direction of the current will be in the opposite direction. So that, that is the direction of current and the current is denoted by the letter I. The current is denoted by the letter I. Here in the circuit we can find the direction of the current. So here we can see that the electrons is moving in the upward direction. So what will be the direction of the current here? So here we can see that the direction of the current will be in the downward direction. Here we can see that the electrons are moving in the upward direction. So the opposite will be the direction of the current. So here we can see that the electron is moving in the upward direction. So here the direction of the current will be in the downward direction. So what about this side? Here we can see that the electron is moving in the downward direction. So what is the direction of the current? The direction of the current will be in the upward direction. The direction of the current will be in the upward direction. So that is the direction of the current in the circuit. Next we have to see the unit of the current. The unit of the current is what? Ampere. The unit of the current is a ampere denoted by capital letter A. The unit of the current is ampere denoted by capital letter A. And the instrument used to measure. 
the instrument used to measure the current is a meter. The instrument used to measure the current is a ammeter. The circuit symbol for ammeter is a the circuit symbol for ammeter is a this one. So in this session we have seen the, about the current, the direction of the current, the unit of the current, and the instrument used to measure the current. So what is the uh, symbol to denote the current? The current is denoted by the symbol I, the unit of the current is ampere and the instrument used to measure the current is ammeter. So thank you for watching the class. We can meet in the next class with the topic voltage of potential liquid.